Hey, Terra Nova, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Love Leans In, a virtual stream of faith, hope, and love in a fearful world. I got a question for you today to kick us off. How are you feeding your faith? How are you feeding your faith these days? You see, the reason why I ask that is faith and fear are what are called inversely correlated. Lots of faith, little fear. Lots of fear, little faith. This is, I heard somebody say today, you have to feed your faith to starve your fears. So how are you feeding your faith these days? You see, there is no shortage of food for our fears right now. Isn't that true? And I mean, and, and there's, we are inundated with news and headlines and worried loved ones and panicking friends and economic woes and health woes. And for some of us, we are just on a steady diet all day long. We've got the news on, we're checking the feeds constantly. We're seeing what's happening with the stock market. We're watching the index of people with the virus. And it's, it's this steady diet. And as a result, even for the coolest of heads, of course, it's impossible with a diet like that not to have feelings of fear and worry, depression, anxiety, uh, futility, despair, hopelessness, anger, frustration. Uh, it, it, of course, we're feeling those things if that's what our diet is. So a couple of suggestions for us today. Uh, one is related to starving our fears, the other to feeding our faith. And my first suggestion is, would you consider uh, would you consider changing your diet a little bit, very intentionally, maybe turning off the news, uh, the voices that you're listening to, maybe even being a little more selective on social media and the kinds of things you're interacting with? Would you, and I'm not suggesting burying your head in the sand, you know me better than that, but consider putting some severe limitations on just that steady flow of the things that create anxiety and fear uh, in you. Be really serious about that. The second is that you feed your faith, and that's actually more important, that you feed your faith uh, regularly. We've actually created a page on our website uh, that you can reach, just type in the URL, uh, ourturnover.com slash hope. Uh, there's actually a button on our homepage labeled hope, and it's filled with a bunch of just amazing passages of faith and hope and love and generosity and grace and courage taken out of... Uh, throughout the scriptures, words of Jesus and the Psalms and the prophets and the writings of Paul, just lots and lots of passages in scriptures, great, great, great lines to just scroll through and pick things that jump off of you and off to you and just soak yourself for maybe 20 seconds or so or 30 seconds in these great passages that are faith inducing and feed your faith regularly. I've got one for you right now. This is one, it's on that page, by the way. You'll find it there. It's out of Isaiah 40. I have loved this passage for like 25, 26 years since I was early, early in my, my, uh, my own journey of faith following Jesus. And uh, I came upon these words and loved them immediately, have read them so many times since then. Isaiah 40, the, the prophet begins by saying, uh, I'm jumping in in verse 25, to whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? And calls, or, or who brings out the starry hosts one by one and calls each one by name? Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. And then he asks a question. So why do you complain, O Jacob? And why do you say, O Israel? Like if you believe that's true, why would you ever say or why would you ever complain my way is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. You ever feel that way? Like, does God even know what's going on? I mean, is he really paying attention? Is he regarding my cause right now? Why would you ever say that? He says, why would you ever think that? Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. He is the God of eternity. He is the eternal one, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. And his understanding, no one can fathom, including his understanding of you and me and where we're at right now and what we're going through in this situation that we find ourselves in. Then the prophet says this. I love this. He gives strength to the weary. He increases the power of the weak. Do you feel like you could use a little strength, a little power today? Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. In other words, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to everybody. But 
Those who hope in the Lord. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And that phrase, those who hope in the Lord, is sometimes translated those who wait on the Lord. Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. And when the prophet and when the other writers in Scripture talk about waiting on the Lord, they don't mean a passive kind of waiting, like I'm going to sit back and just wait to see what happens. It's not the waiting that you do at the DMV or these days in a grocery store outside the grocery store in a line waiting to get in. It's not that kind of waiting. They're talking about a very active kind of waiting, like a, a, a leaning in, which is why this translation uses the word hope. I'm hoping, I'm leaning in. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how this is going to play out yet, but I am leaning into God right now because he knows and I hope in him. I've got confidence in who he is and what he's going to do. Those who do that, who are just leaning into God for their strength, will renew their strength. They will soar on wings as eagles. They will soar above on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So my prayer for you today is that you will lean into God. You will hope in him and you will feed your faith and find yourself stronger than ever before. Till next time, may God fill you with courage and hope today as you wait on him.